I'm going to talk about today is the use of call and meeting types in HubSpot. So Craig, I'm going to show you something. We've just set this up for a customer of ours. Just so you can understand what's going on. They are sales sales are taking longer. They're trying to understand why they're not converting converting deals into the deals into sales, right? Okay. So they they want to understand. So they said, look, can we can we have uh, can we track our meetings, right? What's going what's going on? What sort of a meeting is it? So you can see there's some uh, ones here like pre-qualification, demo, lead, quote, follow up drop in they do that often because they travel around to different places where the people that they're selling to are general call call i don't know whether i agree with it being in this list there's a showroom and then they talk to suppliers too so that's the yard cut that's kind of the types of calls and meetings so so anyway i'm going to leave it there they need to track it it gets put on a it, there's a report on a dashboard that gets emailed every monday at nine o'clock to management with all the meetings and the types of meetings. And there's also a section with the outcomes of meetings as well, which we'll talk about later. But this is the types of meetings to understand what's going on. So that's what's happening. And what do you think? Hmm. Okay, a, a couple of things. First, it's a long list. So there seems to be a little bit of a mix of what they're... It's like some of them actually look like deal stages pre-qualification first intro demo maybe others are the type the supplier and then drop in as kind of a format so there's a bit of a mix but i'm going to assume that they were probably just logging this manually as notes or just free text or something yes. before which was kind of probably tedious putting this into a meeting or call outcome just makes it much more uh, consistent so that's a good thing uh, I'd probably have questions around what they're hoping to achieve from it. You said the deals weren't being closed. I'm not sh sure what this would highlight. I'd be interested to see what they say. And then the second thing is, are they diligently, are the team disciplined in up keeping it updated? If they are, that's great. And it's saving them time instead of just manual notes. That's a good thing. Got no problem with it. If they're not a particularly mature team and this is just busy work for them that's not accurate, and then potentially the worst case is it leads to misleading uh, reports that go out, then that's I'd probably be wary of that. Um, and then the other thing is I'd probably be saying, well, if deals aren't closing, I'd, I'd be wanting to look at deal stages, how many deals they've got, and possibly listening in on calls. I mean, you can't do that if they're dropping in on site or things like that, but maybe there's a, a case here more around understanding the sales process as opposed to the meetings, maybe, but I don't know this client, you know them better than me. I don't know their sales pipeline stages. So overall, if it's making it more consistent, they're disciplined and keeping them update, great. Uh, if not, then perhaps it's busy work. That's probably my comments off the cuff. That's right. And I guess time will tell, right? They've just started rolling this out. One of the key mm. things that I've discovered is, like you said, I mentioned to you earlier, they were logging meetings as notes and putting stuff in there. So now logging a specific kind of, mm. um, let's call it type of meeting call, et cetera, is really important. The other thing to note is that being clear on those definitions. So what we've done mm. is on the dashboard, we put a section where it talks about the what what do these definitions mean right when you see when you look yep. at this list you kind of go if, if it leaves things up for interpretation like for example what does pre-qualification and first intro mean right yeah so good point. let's get that straight and have everybody in the same page so we've got a we've actually just got a tile at the top that says here are the definitions for these call and meeting types just so you know we're all on the same page about how to log this and i think that's been I'd, one of the i'd love you to report back in a couple of months when they've got the data and and they see what they say and i'd love to see things such as we found that deals closed more often when there were three or four drop-ins you know maybe yeah. that the actual in-person okay. meeting dropping in closed yeah. deals that would be a very useful insight that Correct. It would be hard to glean otherwise. So I can see yeah. the value of it. Yeah. 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 And it's just discipline, right? With everything. It's discipline, just logging your meetings, logging the calls. And I think if I think back also is making it easy by making sure everything's connected, right? So making sure everything's connected, periodically checking that you've got all of that stuff flowing into HubSpot makes a massive difference. So well worth checking and doing. So Craig, I hope... I hope listeners have found this useful because 
These are kind of things that we go through on a daily basis. A we are thing, debating yeah. things. You know, people ask us, can we do this or we want this done? And then we actually say, is this the right thing to do? Is it going to provide value to you? Is it going to give you the insight that you need instead of making just busy work, as Craig said? So if you're looking for some advice or you're looking to make your HubSpot better, just hit us up in the comments and we'd be happy to help you guys. Until next time, Craig. Catch you later, Ian.